Good morning, folks. CMEs continue off the far side of our star. One can't help but chuckle at geomagnetism continuing to be unsettled. Can't complain about a lack of disastrous quakes either, though. We've got plenty to cover, including Matthew's Haitian devastation and a look at planetary influence on the sun. But we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, finding one of the calmer days even amidst this march towards solar minimum. None of the surface surging or little pops, and the solar flaring remains very low. And that's a nod to the Earth-facing quiet as two large active regions are turning in. Northern grouping with sunspot spread and little magnetic interaction, while potential remains for morphing down south, we just haven't seen it yet. Solar wind shows we're nearly a week past the peak solar wind speed, but the phi angle continues to shift as we're still in the vulnerability period of the equinox. Shield can't settle down on a global level, and while locally we're seeing storm events continue up to level 2, with significant plasma penetration yesterday, our shield is nowhere near recovered yet, and the only news from beneath our feet the last day is actually the result of the earth spot flurry near the western U.S.-Canada border, activity rising at the mountain. We're now on to Hurricane Matthew. The pounding it gave the Caribbean islands is no joke. Southern Haiti taking much of the worst of it. The damage will take weeks to total as the floodwaters recede and the storm begins to cut up towards Florida. We're going to pull the wind map and go through the position forecasted for Matthew to the weekend. I've expanded the normal viewing window so you can watch us click through the wind, pressure, rain, and storm surge levels as we go. You've also got the date and time down at the bottom as a reference. By tomorrow, we should be seeing significant effects beginning in the mainland, including dangerous coastal conditions, high winds, flash floods, and the potential for tornadoes. By Friday, we're looking at Georgia, and about the only good news we have is that the forecast models have now taken New England and the northern areas off alert for the system. Top news article today is about the 10th paper in the last five years to show that the planets can influence the sun. They go with the tidal effect as opposed to anything electromagnetic, but alas, a good confirmation of the principle, and of course, I'll remind everyone that every month we do a planetary geometry update in the deeper look section of the website. We kicked off October that way, and also yesterday added the spiral star disk story, and there's amazing new stuff from our plasma lab in there as well. Only so much that can be covered in these short news programs, but if you want a deeper look, it is there. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.